Now let's say hi to everyone. We're supposed to be doing this, not her. But All she's right, cute. Alright, unboxing of the dog. What type of dog is this? She is called a Torky. She's half pure silky Yorkie, half mini fox terrier. Oh, and she did a nice good big burp. She's one of the most, like, well-mannered. She doesn't really bark unless she needs to. Except for she, when she likes to hear the other little dog outside, she wants to go be a little hussy. Mm-hmm. But for today, we're going to be doing an unboxing, and I'll try to do a little installation of the 4K60 Pro from Elgato. This can work with your Xbox Series S, X, and last generation consoles as well. This will allow you to capture gameplay in 4K, 60 FPS, HDR, and a bunch of other features you need for the newer console. This was a gift provided to me by my love for Valentine's Day. Yes, it's not Valentine's Day, but you know, you get yourself gifts for your loved ones anytime. And then he was going on and on and... No, I was not! I just kept <laughs> on I was going to get it and I never did, so... Yeah. So let me open up the, the box dating. and show you guys what's inside. There is some tape on the side. You have nails better than me, if you don't mind. <laughs> I'll say this, as I'm opening this, I always got annoyed at the tech store I worked at. People would open these things mm -hmm. and it, they would just rip it apart and say like, hey, yo, this stickers, could you like maybe take it? And then it was just destroyed inventory to an extent because the package looked like yeah. crap. So do you guys repackage it back then in another type of box or do you keep the same? No, box? we just had to tape it, but it looked like <laughs> a, it looked like a shit job. Mm. It literally looked like a shit job. So she's taking it out of the box right now. So, it comes in its own little nice little packaging right here. I'm not playing Twisted with you on that. <laughs> Let's take a look inside. Voila. It has the card right here. So this is a card that goes inside your PC. You're going to need an expansion slot. So, take it out real quick. It's pretty small which is pretty good because there's different generations of these type of cards. Let's get it out of the packaging. Be careful on, you know, electrocuting your stuff with static electricity. Touch we're, something metal we're first. On, yeah, we're on carpet, but I have a way to ground myself, which I just did. It doesn't happen very often. Linus Tech Tape did make a video about that. But it's always better to be safe than sorry. So here's the back right here. But here's the front. <laughs> Which you guys can't see off screen because of see this, this mm -hmm. packaging because it's making a sound. Mm -hmm. Nala's perking her ears up because this is the sound that for her treats. So she thinks she's getting a treat right now. You can see that they have these little uh, slots in here, almost like a fan would be inside. But from my understanding, there's no fan in there. But easy enough, open up your computer, find the expansion slot you need, slide it in, install the software, and you're set to go, which is what we're going to do next. I'll show you guys what else comes in the box. User manual. We got some um, brackets right here to help with insulation. Oh, there's a little sticker thing. A little sticker you can put on your computer. Right there, and I'll just check if there's anything else at the bottom. Yep, wires. An HDMI cable. So you got an HDMI cable if you need another one. And that's basically it right there. So I'm gonna get the process of installing it in the computer and I'll show you guys how that works. See you soon. Bye. If you're gonna install this into a computer, I'm gonna show you guys how, and also show you how to remove an old capture card that you might have uh, installed, and it's little tricky stuff you might run into if you don't really know that much about PC. It's simple though, overall. You're gonna need a screwdriver, depending on how your case is laid out. For me, I'm gonna to need to unscrew the slot that's holding in my older capture card. The first thing I did before unplugging all my wire and turning off the power with my computer was make sure that I was ground, I was not gonna put any electricity shock in my computer, so just touch something grounded in metal. And once you screw it out, just go ahead and pull it out of the slot. And here's one of the big things. This is a Live Gamer HD. This is an Avery Media capture card. Many people were able to get these early on. Um, they're great for 1080p capture. The thing about them, they use the PCI X1 slots. And if you notice, with the Elgato, it's different. So if you're upgrading from the Live Media to this one, just note that they are going to be using different interfaces and you're going to have to deal with that. And the way to deal with that, you're going to just need to have a free, in your case, a 4 or 16x slot right over here or up here like I do. So just note if you do have SLI from an older generation and all these other slots are filled up, you're going to need one of these free slots to be able to use this card. 
So for me, what I'm going to be doing here is freeing up one of these slots for me to use. I'm going to use the bottom one. So as my graphics card and this, I want to keep them a little bit of space apart just for heat reasons. I don't think it's going to be much of an issue, but why not? In my case, I just pull out the little barrier. I take the graph, the capture card. Sorry about that with the camera right there. Unfortunately, I hit it a little bit, but there, we're back in place. Line it up. Give it a good little firm push, slots it in. All right, once it's in place, the screw we put back in and just screw it right back in, righty tighty. And you're basically done with the physical installation. It's in the slot. All you gotta do is if you have one of these covers, cover back over the empty slot where your previous um, capture card was, go to the website for Elgato, download the software, and you're set to go to use it in XSplit, use it in, what's the program you use, babe? For OBS. OBS, that's the one. And use it in OBS. but. That's the physical installation. It's really simple, really easy to do. It doesn't take you more than a few minutes. Just make sure you guys have a free slot that could actually fit that is 4X up to 16X and it doesn't use the old school slots like the Avermeter HD. And you're also going to need to have a fairly powerful newer computer in the sense that you're gonna need something like an i7 processor from the recent age, a pretty good graphics card is gonna definitely help. Some fast storage is gonna help as well as like, you know, M.2 or some SSD. So definitely look at the requirements on the back of the box before you pick this up at somewhere like Pretty Micro much Center. don't put something new in an old vehicle. Yeah, definitely uh, check your specs of your computer and your requirements before you take this bad boy in there because it's a lot more powerful to capture 4K 60 HDR gameplay than it is for 1080p. So don't torture your poor uh, desktop. Units, level four mobilization. Location, Fisk Tower. Fisk?